sailing daydream, we sold everything and bought a 35-foot Mark's Craft sailboat in Pittwater, just north of Sydney, Australia. Since then, we've been learning the ropes, getting settled in and finding our sea legs. One of the reasons we wanted to downsize and go sailing was so we could spend more time doing what we love. In Andrew's case, this includes going fishing whenever he's in the mood to wet a line. That's your first kingfish, is it? I think it is. Yeah. I just caught, what did I catch, sweetheart? A uh, tarwin. A tarwin. It was a pretty, uh, sort of looks a little bit like a brim, doesn't it? But it's got flecks of blue. Yeah. Little flecks of blue in the scales. Yeah. It was a bit small, so we put it back. <laughs> Fun? Mm. Nice spot. What's it called again? This yeah. is Towers? Towler's Bay. At Pitwater. Yeah. And it was full this morning, but then we had a squall come through and it sent half the boats home. That was good. Yeah. It's probably smart, really. Yeah. <laughs> they just probably don't live on a boat. No. <laughs> they don't have to be out Oh, here. that's right. We, that's right. We live on it, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah. How fun. Third week. Third week. Third week. Hmm. <laughs> So over the last four weeks I've been listing loads of our furniture on Gumtree and selling as much stuff as I possibly can and getting things down so that it's only small enough amount of stuff that we can take it home or back to my mum's place to store uh, in our van. We don't have to pay for a removal list or pay for storage fees. It's been an interesting process just experiencing letting go of all these different items. Um, most of them have been surprisingly easy. Uh, only a couple of things I've kind of felt a little bit of a longing to hold on to and one was um, my couch. I really like the couch but it's okay. I'm trusting that there will be another couch when it's time for another couch. And the other thing funnily enough was I sold our indoor plants and um, yeah it just felt uh, actually shed a little tear or two after I dropped them off to the man. Um, yeah, which is funny because I mean they're plants and as if you can't replace plants, but I just loved those indoor plants and I knew that they created some sense of life and nature in this house, which is something that's sadly lacking because as you can see, you can't see out the windows. Most of the windows are, um, yeah, got all these mottled stuff and you can't even see the garden. Um, which has not been very good for my mental health, quite frankly. But it's certainly been a blessing in disguise because it's made me become very firmly focused on the things that light me up in life. And one of that, those things is being in touch with nature and being connected with nature and being outside. So being on a boat is definitely going to tick all those boxes. So yeah, here's my clothes I've packed up and we've got some paintings and canvases and I've actually already put the paints in the van. In here we've got the uh, office and I've emptied most of that out. I was using that as my temporary studio as well. Um, we're now using our camp table and ch some chairs that I haven't sold yet for the dining table because I've sold that. I meant to tell you, um, in the kitchen, when I first saw this place I was like, oh look how lovely it is. Look at the kitchen, it's all white and it's beautiful, it's going to be great. But I found this kitchen really difficult to work in. It's really um, hardly got any bench space, usable bench space. But in hindsight, I feel like it's actually been, um, been really good to get to live in what I thought was a modern-ish um, lovely home and find that it doesn't make me in any way, shape or form happy. Um, and in fact, I find it incredibly boring. <laughs> Uh, and it's not how I want to be spending my time and it kind of reaffirmed for me that for what Andrew and I like in life it's about experiences, it's about creating things, um, it's about forming connections with cool people and um, I think that being in this house it's sort of really highlighted to me what I don't want and sometimes that can be an important part of the journey as well as much as finding what it is that you do want because sometimes they go hand in hand um, yeah so that's my philosophizing about a nice kitchen and how little joy it brought me hmm. 
and now I'm going to clean out the fridge, get it ready for when the removalist comes. Okay, ciao! Today I've been making banana bread and we're about to take it out of the oven and have it with a nice cup of tea. Ooh. Mm. I love it. <laughs> it's a good boat, isn't it? It is. It was first go at the helm yes. on this boat. Yes. And uh... although she's been at helms a lot more than I have <laughs> on other boats. It's been a while though, so I was a bit nervous, but it's all feeling very natural again once I'm here. It's good. It's a good feeling. And what are we doing at the moment? We're just puttering around pit water and getting to know the engine controls and getting a feel for the steerage. And I did a 360 before in the middle of the <laughs> in the middle of the water um, just to get a feel for how it manoeuvres. And we're practicing so that we can soon enough go and pull up at the at the jetty and get some water. Yes. Yeah. It's a bit nerve wracking too, isn't it? Our first time. <laughs> And the wind's picked up this afternoon, which it normally does. And Lacey, though, has been the star of the show. She's been loving it. Haven't you, Lacey? Such a brave dog. Oh, yes. So it's been great. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, every, it's been a little bit of a stressful week, getting things sorted out, putting, finding places for everything, and but it's starting to feel like it's ship shape and it's coming together, and it's definitely what I'd hoped it was going to be and more. So good. it's good. So we did it, Andrew. Piece of cake. <laughs> you did very nice manoeuvring in. You can see there's no dings on the boat. Yeah. Yes. And uh, filling up with water. Very nicely done. First time. <laughs> First time. Bit of a worry, but we did it. We did it. <laughs> Nobody even came to help us. No. No. Didn't need it. Didn't need it, thankfully. So what's going on, my love? Uh, heading out for our first sail. Well, first time we're going to put the sails up, so just getting out into the open a little bit. Hopefully that we don't look too silly. <laughs> we're, we'll head into the wind, which we pretty much are now, and uh, yeah, we'll hoist the main sail and start with that and see how we go. That's so, good. Hopefully, okay. We've <laughs> <laughs> got a squeaky dog. Yeah, she wants to be up on deck, but I'm refusing. She's not allowed. No, no. Hold in there firm. After we'd been living aboard for a little while, Andrew's dad Peter and his wife Nicole flew down from Innisfail and came for a sail. We had light winds and a lovely time cruising around what was fast becoming our local haunts up the Hawkesbury River and round Pitwater. Pinta Bay. In um, Jerusalem Creek. Jerusalem Bay. Jerusalem Bay, which is near Cottage Point. And uh, it's raining, and there's a few little birds chirping 
and I'm freezing. <laughs> a little bit of hot coffee and a cute dog. And I'm being sent to go and get a bucket of water. So I'll be doing that in a moment. Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> That's our only neighbour. Little boat. This is the lovely rocks behind our boat. We've got a little bit of rain today. But it's very, very beautiful. And I thought I'd give the, um, let the herbs get some nitrogen from the rain because there's always a bit more nitrogen when it comes, when the water comes from the sky. And plants love it. It's better than just giving them a water. So pull them out so they get a good drink. Aren't oh, they looking happy? I'm going to start making the mint into some teas. And then we've got some lemon thyme. I love lemon thyme, it's only a little one. Um, parsley and chives. I would have had basil, but it's not in season at the moment. Is she a wet dog? Wet How's that, Lacey? How's that, Lacey? Hey, is that pretty good? You're nice and warm? Don't want to move, do you? It's wonderful. Got the, what you've always wanted, an igloo of blanket. <laughs> You're a funny dog. What have you been doing? I just took the tender for a plane to get the water out of it. And how was your wet weather gear? Yeah, good. So you got your gum boots? Yep. Got your pants? Yep. New jacket? New jacket. It keeps the wind out. Does it? Yeah. Hmm. So, worthwhile. Very good. Yes. I'm glad done. Yeah, I'm glad too. Be living in those for a bit. Yeah, when it's wet. Mm. Spray. It's quite bad weather today. Yeah, it is quite. Yeah. Well, no such thing as bad weather, just the wrong clothes. <laughs> <laughs> That's for when I grow. <laughs> That's for when you're carrying your next child. No. No, just. just... <laughs> <Wife's cooking>. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the pressure cooker. Yes. Mm. Oh, well done that. I'll keep them handy. This is a genius idea from Andrew for harvesting our water out of our dinghy. Because we <laughs> <laughs> gave it a good flush out yesterday, didn't we? Well, I had a heap of rain, so it had about as much yesterday and I flushed it all out. So, so it's been cleaned. Yeah. We, we, don't. we don't drink that water anyway. No. But it's clean water, you wouldn't get any better. Amazing. Yeah. It's like MacGyver. MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> so this will keep us out another week. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, if we ration it. And this here is the, um, it's going to be the deck wash pump. So you can use that to pump up salt water and wash the deck. And he's rigged up a hose and it goes down there into our um, tank in there. I get all these lovely shots of your receding hairline these days. Do yeah, you really? Yeah. <laughs> My new look? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's less hair I have to brush and wash and oh. yeah. Less maintenance. Got enough maintenance on the boat. I'll have to start growing it long up here. <laughs> Do the comb over. Where are we? Uh, I don't know the name of this bay. We're still in Pinta Bay. Pinta Bay. In Jerusalem Bay. In Jerusalem Bay. We're gonna go and have a look at a little waterfall because it rained quite heavily last night. And um, it's a very little waterfall just at the end of the bay here that's flowing rapidly, so we thought we'd go and check it out. You're doing a very nice job, Mother. Thanks. Can you see the waterfall in the background? I'm not facing back. I'm talking to them. I was reading a um, book on Captain Cook and when they went to the Hawaiian Islands. And, uh, the Hawaiian people first saw the Europeans and they were rolling backwards, so they were convinced they had eyes in the back of their heads and they were goblins. <laughs> 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 Which would make sense. Well, yeah. Mm. yeah I mean, what a stupid thing to do, really, isn't it? Row backwards. backwards. Mm. Mm. Well, oh, wow, it's really beautiful. Really beautiful. It's a mist and everything.
Next time on Sailing Daydream, Lacey goes crazy getting to run free on the beach. We collect fresh rainwater from a stunning national park, take a cruise up the Hawkesbury River, and I begin making curtains for the boat.